Today we will discuss most common topic from periodontics called as gingivectomy. If you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel. Let's start with the definition of gingivectomy. According to World Workshop of Periodontics it is an excision of soft tissue wall of periodonto pocket. Let's talk about some common indications. First is super bony pockets and super bony abscess. Second in case of gingival enlargements. Third to expose additional clinical crown to add retention for restorative purpose. Fourth is for perioesthetic. And to correct gingival craters. Contraindications are as follows in frabney pockets where base of the pocket is beyond or till mucogingival junction. Intradental craters. Aesthetically challenging areas such as maxillary anterior teeth. Uncooperative patient. Medically compromised patients. Patient with dentin hypersensitivity before surgery. Types of the gingivectomy are as follows. Surgical gingivectomy. Electrosurgery. Laser. Chemosurgery. Let's talk about instruments used in surgical gingivectomy. Mouth mirror and probe. Pocket marker. Kirkland and Orban periodontal knives. Surgical blade and BP handle. Curates. Tissue forceps and scissors. Periodontal dressing. Steps of surgical gingivectomy are as follows. Mark bleeding points. Incisions. Tissue removed. Scaling and root planning. Periodontal dressing. First step is exploration of pocket with probe. And mark with pocket marker. Each pocket is marked on several areas to its outline. Second step in surgical gingivectomy is incisions. Two type of knives are used. First with Kirkland knives make incision on facial and lingual surface distal to terminal tooth in arch. Second with Orban's knives interdental incision is given. BP blade number 1215 and scissors are also used. Incision started apical to points marking the course of pocket. And it is directed coronal to point between base of pocket or crest of alveolar bone. Either continuous or discontinuous incision may be used. Incision should be beveled 45 degree to tooth surface and recreate normal festooned pattern of gingiva. Third step is to remove excised pocket wall. Clean the area. Examine the surface. Fourth step is to create the granulation tissue with surgical or gracie curate. Remove any remaining calculus or necrotic cementum. To leave smooth and clean surface. And the last fifth step is to cover the area with periodontal surgical pack. Second type of gingivectomy is by electrosurgery. Advantages are adequate contouring of tissues. Less bleeding. Ease for operator and patient. Disadvantage are. It cannot be used in cardiac pacemaker patients. If by mistake electrode touches bone leads to irreparable damage. And to root causes areas of cementum burns. Third type of gingivectomy is laser. Advantages are. Dry blood less field. Surgical time reduced. Post-op pain reduced. Fifth gingivectomy procedure is by chemosurgery. 5% paraformal dehyde or potassium hydroxide is used. Disadvantages are. Healthy tissue can be injured due to poor control. No gingival remodeling. That is all for today. If you like this video please like share. And subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics.